Hello ARK survivors, today we're going to showcase the premium mod GG Sky Islands. Here we go. So GG Sky Islands is designed to allow you to build a floating base anywhere you like. And to get started, all you got to do is learn a few Ingrams. The very first one would be your Sky Island workstation. And then from there, as you start leveling up, you can get, to, you can start learning some other Sky Island items so there's your small island at level 20 and then you also get some additional stuff like the sky island tree planter so there's it's not just sky islands there's some things that you can snap to it to customize your island the way you want it so to get started just go ahead and place down your workbench yeah, just go ahead and place down your workbench to get started and inside your workbench that's where you'll craft all the sky island items Your sky islands will come in many different types and sizes, so let's go ahead and take a preview of what you could build. We'll start us off with the main islands. So this will be your tropical sky island, and there's several different variants. So we're going to place this down. Press R to cycle to the next variant. Alright, so we'll come back and start with Tropical. So as you can see, the building space is quite immense. And then it comes with some custom, with some tree platforms on it already. These are part of the island, so if it takes damage, the whole island takes damage. You can build up in the tree too if you like. You can build off on the sides. It does come with a main platform and a smaller platform. And these smaller ones you can attach certain things to, and I'll show you in a minute. Then you come around to the underside of it because, if, again, if you're playing PvP, you want to protect the bottom and the top and the sides of your Sky Island. And then there's more. So you can umbrella turrets off of it, uh, whatever you like. Alright, so, and then next up we have our Redwood Sky Island. It does come with uh, several tall wet Redwoods trees. This one is unique. It doesn't have the little uh, platform for a little mining post, which is what you would place on that. Instead, you can snap tree platforms to some of these trees. So you can get a little bit more customization out of this one. Just, just like any tree in the redwoods, you can use this and snap some more building materials to it. So this one gives you a lot more, uh, a bigger of a build, so it's not really... That's why it doesn't have this mining platform that's on it. And then you can also hook up some sap taps. Now all Sky Islands come with a sap tap socket, but the Redwoods will give you many. And if you decide to make the crystal sap tap from the mod, it will hold a lot more sap than the vanilla counterpart. Next up is your Swamp Sky Island. So it just has a swamp theme going on. You come down to your platforms. And then here's your Snow Sky Island. Sandy Desert Sky Island. And finally, the Oasis Sky Island. All right, so let's talk about the things that you could snap to your Sky Island. First off, we'll talk about the wooden well. Now you can place this wooden well anywhere that you like. 
and it will generate a source of fresh water for you so that way you can grow, your, grow some crop plots up on your sky island. Now these tree planters that come with the mod, you can cycle through and, and choose many different styles of trees to match whatever biome you're trying to fit into. They do have special snaps. Not, not, not every island can use every single snap. And what these do for you, they are a destructible structure and you can access their inventory and they will passively gain wood and thatch for you. With one exception, if you do place the cactus if you do place the cactus one this this one will actually generate cactus sap for you in addition to wooden thatch now if you learn the tech force field you can make the sky island tech force field and these will only snap to the centermost point of the larger sky islands this force field will run on element shards It'll start up pretty quickly, and then you can expand a barrier out to cover your entire uh, size sky island. Alright, so next we'll show you the small sky islands. They also come in various different biomes. Tropical, redwoods, snow, swamp, and sandy desert. Now these are your, the small islands you're able to snap a mining post to. These mining posts will passively generate uh, resources. You can select between metal, obsidian, or crystal. They snap to the middle of the small platforms or small sky islands. Now the small sky islands you can snap the decorative trees to them. And this is your small bridge sky island. It comes in the same biomes. There's tropical redwoods, snow, swamp, and sandy desert. And you can just line this up how you like it and just place it down. And there you go. You got a nice little bridge going over to your other island. You may have to line it up a little bit different, but or just build some steps if you misalign it. That's fine, too. Now, the Sky Islands, they do have a 15-second pickup timer and 15-second demolish timer, so it's really hard to accidentally demolish or pick up your Sky Island um, unless you really want to. And then we have the Event Sky Islands, so these are going to be more massive builds has a lot more building space on it, a lot more snap points on it. So here's your event island. You can see there's a lot of space for you to really make a nice big base on this. I'll give you a size comparison of spawn in a Bronto. There you go, nice size comparison. See that Bronto? Now these uh, event islands, they do have a lot of little extra nooks and crannies. You can build in the treetops. It comes with some platforms for you. It comes with some extra mining platforms. You can get really, really creative with how you build on these. You even have a Nice little area down below, again, for protection, or maybe that's where you want to store your flyers. 
however you want to build it you get to customize it the way you want it now there is another variant of your event sky island and there's your scorched earth variant if you're a fan of scorched earth you might like this one a lot too it's a nice oasis on it waterfall dripping little sand sandy dust clouds all right and they do get bigger you have the clustered sky island which is going to be the biggest variant and there will be more different types of this one to come out right now there's just the one let me get away from the world border and place this Alright, so your clustered Sky Island offers you a lot of choices for building and expanding. It's a nice big base combining all the biomes. So in case you couldn't choose just one, there you go. Uh, eventually there will be another clustered Sky Island coming out with the Scorched Earth variants. There may be some more variants to be added to the, the Scorched Earth pack as well. So if you're following along with the mod updates, just keep uh, checking in. You'll see some ni nice stuff coming out for you to build on. And like everything else, I not only pay attention to the top, but pay attention to the bottom. There you go. You got a lot, a lot of nice platforms that you can build on and expand and maybe protect your, your big floating base. There's a couple other uh, normal size sky islands like your, uh, your normal size ones that we first showcased. They're called the, uh, the ruins. So let's take a look at one of these. So it offers you some ruins like you would find on the island from this one. This is the island ruins. Sky Island gives you some extra building places. Maybe you can get really creative or defensive with some of your builds on this. Some little, uh, little spots to hide in. And here's your Scorched Earth variant. Now some of these Sky Islands do come with some weather effects as well. So you can see the the sandy uh, dirt and debris like you would see on Scorch Earth blowing by. Maybe if we'll see it, some tumbleweeds as well. I think that's the start of one that's going to, yep, they're going to start rolling around. So it does give you a, a bit of feel from the map. Looks like it could be a part of the map. So yeah, so have fun and enjoy building on these. All right, if you're a server admin or you just want to test out the mod and, and just want to get things really quick, I made it nice and simple. There's just one spawn command you need to know for all items, and it'll... <laughs> I pooped in that, that shot. Maybe I'll cut it. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Um, yeah, there's just one thing you need to spawn in, and it's called the admin box. I'll show you what it looks like. So to get this, it's just uh, enter in your cheat command right here and open it up and it will have all the items from the mod if I end up taking an item out of the box close the box and then open it back up again there's my item that I just took out it repopulates itself and there you go and, and that's uh, that's every item from the mod so far but there's gonna be some nice updates coming in the future so be paying attention to that and happy arcing